Hello. Um, first off, I'd like to apologize. Uh, in my last video, I said I was going to do my next video on uh, my ROPS uh, light box there. And um, before I do this, uh, I will do a quick video on the uh, new horn and the new backup alarm I installed. And I would wanted to touch quickly on my last video was on the front bumper for you guys that seen it. Um, the one thing I forgot to mention is I will weld um, like a hitch attachment onto this front uh, bumper for later on uh, to be able to um, quickly uh, put in the uh, uh, winch on the front of the tractor um, which as you saw when I put the bucket down load around that uh, I have no clearance there so I can't cannot have that there I cannot put a winch on and still have the front loader um, but with this it still uh, gave me the clearance I need and I can have that as a as a setup for a quick attach that way uh, when I do take the loader off um, It'd be easy to put on, and um, if I do get stuck, then at least I got something to unstuck myself with the loader on and the back on. Um, I got stuck a few times, and I find that using either I can kind of get myself out, but without uh, either of them, uh, I want to have the winch option. Which the reason I'm doing quick attach is also that. I will uh, build it in the way that I can move it from the front of the tractor to the back, whichever is more convenient, whenever or wherever I get stuck. So I will have the two options on that. Now on the horn and the backup alarm, um, what I did is, uh, again, uh, this is where I look, situated the horn. Uh, it's a little horn, 12 volt horn that I bought from Princess Auto again. I think it was like 10 or 12 bucks. Uh, there was a hole in the frame right here that I utilize. Uh, I took this bracket that I don't know if you can see. Um, it's only about half inch wide by about 3 16 thick, if that, an 8 maybe. Um, and I bend this uh, by hand. Actually put it in my vise and kind of bend it, shaped it. So that the horn would fit right in there. It's a pretty tight fit. Uh, it's uh, pretty close to where the fan belt is, as you can see. Um, it gets really close here, uh, but this doesn't move. Um, it, you know, it's pretty tight in there. I got double bolts with the, uh, the locker washer in there and everything. Uh, the wiring is uh, bent down so they won't catch on the belt either. So it's a tight fit, but it fits within the panel, then you don't see it. It's clean. Again, the wiring, I use all that uh, plastic black loom to put all my wiring through the tractor, so that kind of makes it clean in the end. Um, so that's the horn. And that's the backup alarm here. Now, as you can see, um, it's kind of hard to see right now, but there's like... A little switch right under here it's dark uh, it's tough to see um, but you see my pedal my backup pedal has a, a new bracket that I I took the the little rubber off here drilled a hole uh, in the actual steel of the the uh, backup and I literally bolted a little bracket under and then I adjusted the height of the the little button, the horn button, which is the same kind of button, uh, same as a horn button. I mean, it's the same thing. You, you can unscrew it. And then what I did too is, um, let me uh, quickly, like if you lift the uh, mat, there's like a little bracket here, a couple there, in there. There's an actual hole already pre-drill in the frame right there and I don't know if that was the intention of backup alarm or put something there but the backup the the little switch it's like a, a trigger switch for a horn or whatever fit dead on in there so I utilized that hole and I wired everything to the 
and I end up putting the, uh, the backup alarm right here under the seat. As you can see, it's uh, the actual kind of speaker is pointed towards sort of the front so that it's sort of protected a little bit, uh, especially when I pressure wire some machine, I don't want to spray right into it. So if I'm at the back here spraying or whatever, I'm not shooting water directly into it. Um, so that's the location of the backup alarm, location of the horn. Now what I did, um, the wiring in that was a little more intricate. I'll open my panel. Like I have this switch here that's called this turn something on. So what it is basically, when I turn this on, it actually turns on the, uh, whoops, sorry, give me a sec here. It turns on the, uh, an internal light that I put in there. But it also activate, as you can see here, it activate the, uh, the, um, the horn through the, the line. It gives power so the, the switch activates the power that goes through the, the trigger switch that, you know, gets the horn going. Now, the other switch over here, again, uh, that's a little easier to see from this side, I think, but it's right there. So when I back up or when I push the pedal down, it activates the switch, which is good. And then if I don't want people to play with the horn or if I don't want to hear this backup alarm all the time, and I don't want this light to be on all the time either. I do have a fan. You can hear it running that kind of cools the whole system in case it gets hot in there. But I can turn this off, and uh, the fan is always running, by the way, it's uh, as soon as I, the ignition goes on. But that way, if I turn it on, no horn, no backup alarm. So that way, I have this independently um, uh, run. I, I don't have to have it on all the time. And if I want to quickly turn it on, I, it's right there. Uh, when I'm setting, like, you can see the clearance here from my, again, from my box. Like, I've had people, like, friends asking, oh, is that going to be in your way? It's not in the way. It's less in the way than my bucket arm is. Uh, coming from this side, I got lots of room to come in. I can sit. Lots of, lots of, foot range my my foot pedal well my my panel is not closed right now my foot pedal doesn't interfere with it at all the clutch here so I find it very uh, well positioned that way uh, the other thing too that I should touch base on now my panel uh, like I said is fully independent I got two leads uh, that comes from the batteries um, black and red coming into I put a little plastic uh, cover here. I'll go through the panel in more detail later on too. But it, the one thing that um, I wanted to, again, um, have a like independent run by the switch. So as soon as I turn the switch, the whole panel become live in a sense. Now, asking my dealer, there is a wire back here. Um, the smaller one here is the the new line that I actually put from a wire, a pre-existing wire that comes from the Kubota factory. They do supply you with uh, a wire in here uh, that I had to open this loom thing in order to access uh, there's two wire uh, for lighting for, for any sort of backup light that you want to put on, Kubota provide you two wires, that's it, uh, red and the black. Um, but both of them are directly live to the switch, so as soon as you turn on the switch, if you do put light, they would turn on. So you would have to wire them in the way that, uh, um, obviously, you have another switch that goes, puts the system through that the lights don't turn on every time you turn on the switch. But what I did then, is utilize this instead of again try to tap into the system or whatever I use this line um, I, I basically took 
a splice to that and I, I reshotted it all the way to my panel here, which is the green one, which anybody that's wired relay will understand. Um, you get your red for your power, your black for your ground, your, your, your green is basically your, um, your ignition and your blue is the, uh, the one that you throw through your fuse box. Um, again, I'll go in detail on this uh, later video. But that's basically it for this video. Um, again, new uh, backup alarm, which is right down here. Uh, low bracket, very simple. Everything was pretty much there, so that was easy to do. Um, the horn, wanted to make sure I didn't see it. It was under the panel, so it fit perfectly there. There was already a hole to, for me to bolt something on. I just had to make the bracket to fit in there. Uh, again, there's a quick little view of it. So that's it for this video. Next one will be the uh, ROPS light. Um, I'll dismantle that. This one takes a little longer, so that's why I, I kind of did this short video first because the ROPS or uh, this video will be probably much longer. Thank you again, and uh, any comments, um, just leave them below. Thanks.